Well, yeah, my parents live out here in Calera, and so it's been kind of like a lifelong goal, really, to be able to bring a big movie back here and like have our own screening for them, you know? So being able to, you know, play it locally just means so much to me as somebody who used to come to this theater all the time. And, you know, it, it's funny because this has kind of turned into like a class reunion for me. A lot of my friends back from Marion where I uh, originally grew up, they've all come out and I haven't seen a lot of them since probably like 1999. So uh, it's pretty trippy, you know? So there's, this is a very loaded event for me, you know what I mean? It's like both seeing like all my high school chums and you know the movie coming out and everything that entails so but I, i'm just thrilled because it's just it's just been so fun this is the biggest movie in the world right now yeah and, and like the reaction has been very positive yeah and and it's doing very well so i mean what's it like to be the person who directed the biggest movie in the world well i mean i have to be honest with you i haven't been able to really process that at all you know like you know you, it, it's one thing to just like read about something being big and it's like your movie you know but like for that to really connect and be able to process that is another thing it's like i don't let myself get my hopes up necessarily because i've you know i've done a lot of movies over the years and i've had ups and downs with the releases and you just ha you learn to sort of like be ready for the worst so when things are going this good it's kind of like oh my god what's what, ba what, what bad things around the corner you know what i mean but like every day it's just been incredible the audience uh, ratings have been incredible the you know obviously like the the financial end of it has been great so you know i'm i'm just like having a blast you know i i'm soaking it in because this is like one of those like moments that you know it's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing i mean if anything like the fact that this is a movie that's doing this type of business you know after you know this long pandemic it's like that, that's a whole nother element on top of it that's just so insane so I'm just really like honestly like really honored to be able to have contributed to you know making a film and putting something out there that will hopefully re-stimulate the theatrical cinema going experience and you know and that means so much to me and you know so yeah when I think about like Godzilla movies I just think about it in the purest sense that you know, I just want to be able to enjoy the monsters as characters, you know? Like, I think about how I experienced them when I was a kid, and Godzilla wasn't just a big lizard in a suit, you know, a guy in a suit. It, it was, he was a character himself, and the monsters around him, and their interactions, and so forth. And so, for me, that was the most important thing. Obviously, the big battles have got to, like, satisfy, you know, because you know, now more than ever, there's like a catharsis to watching these monsters battle it out and just being able to turn your brain off and just have a good time. And, you know, but yeah, I would say first and foremost, it's treating the monsters as characters and, and, and making sure that that's first, you know, front row and center.